So we've talked about Nick Fuentes on the program before, but if you've never heard of him, this is someone who is a Nazi with a penchant for booger eating. And I'm not joking about that. I'm so sorry. I know you all hate it whenever I play that video, but I have to if we're talking about Nick Fuentes. It's incredibly relevant. So you have to grasp the totality of what is Nick Fuentes. And I feel like if I exclude that video, you're just not going to be able to understand where he's coming from. So I'm so sorry, but... I'd argue it's necessary. Now, we've gotten glimpses into his vision for the United States, and what he's told us, it's genuinely unhinged and horrifying. He says that he wants a version of the United States that's similar to the Taliban, albeit a Christian version, because he believes that the way that they treat women is an approximation of what he wants here in the United States. But in a recent airing of his show, picked up by Right Wing Watch, he talked a little bit more at length about what he wants. And it is genuinely horrifying. So take a look. We have got to talk about the fundamentals of our worldview and what it would look like to build a society based on our distinct worldview, which is different from the left, different from a godless, atheist, constructivist, liberal worldview. And what does that look like? Does that look like a society where you have gay marriage and birth control and contraceptives and legal ubiquitous internet pornography and all the rest but uh transgender kids aren't playing in girls water polo no that's not what it looks like it looks like a society where women don't have the right to vote and it looks like a society where boys and girls get married as teenagers and start having kids and they don't use birth control and they don't use contraceptives and they have big families and a high birth rate and it looks like women wearing veils at church. And it looks like women not being in the workforce. And it looks like mothers raising their kids. And it looks like pornography being banned. And homosexuality and transsexuality as well as heterosexual sodomy. As well as fornication and adultery being shamed by the society. And maybe in some places, in some jurisdictions, regulated by the law. It's not enough to say we're against you got to be against women's rights too. It's not enough to be against blue-haired feminism. You got to be against women getting educated. Okay? Or else, what are we really trying to achieve here? 1999? 1999 sucked too. We want to go back to, to 1099. We want to go back to the Middle Ages. So we're burning your gay pride flag. We're burning your gay pride float. And then we're going to drag your bitch wife out of her house, kicking and screaming. And then we're going to burn her at the stake too for being a witch. So you know how we often joke about how the right wants to take us back to the Middle Ages with their social views? Nick Fuentes is unironically saying, quote, we want to go back to the Middle Ages. And I mean, he's honest about that. His vision would include uh, a country where women don't have the right to vote, child marriage, forced birthing, women wearing veils at church, and I'm assuming being forced to attend church, women not being in the workforce, porn being banned. Interestingly enough, though, being gay or trans and being an adulterer, because those are in the same category, according to um, Nick Fuentes, that wouldn't necessarily be criminalized, maybe in certain jurisdictions, but that would just be shamed. Gay. I mean, he's talked about how being with a woman before is gay, so there's a little bit of a sense that he might be gay himself, hence why he doesn't want to criminalize it fully in his view of the world, because maybe he'd be prosecuted for that, because he's not necessarily the most masculine ind individual. Either way, uh, he also wants to make sure there's no women's rights, and he doesn't want women to be executed, or educated, excuse me, but I'm sure executions are, are part of it, because he wants to burn women for being which is, this is his ideal goal. Now, see, for me, when I think about the ideal society, I think about a society where everyone has health care and education and nobody is in poverty. Everybody has housing. Everybody has leisure time. Sure, we work, but our entire lives aren't taken up by working at a job for an employer that treats us like shit at a job that we don't like. 
We actually enjoy life. People aren't struggling to get by. There's equality legally and socially. That's my ideal society. But his ideal society, oh yeah, women aren't allowed to get educations and we burn witches at the stakes like we did in 1099. It's just, it's horrifying. Now, it's not surprising that somebody on the internet has this view with the following. Because, I mean, you could find any fringe view on the internet. The problem is that Nick Fuentes and his view is trickling into the mainstream. For example, Marjorie Greene, a sitting member of Congress, attended his America First Action Conference, which is the white nationalist alternative to CPAC. On top of that, Paul Gosar has promoted fundraisers with Nick Fuentes, and I can't tell you why his head looks extremely small in comparison to Nick's in this photo, but when you look at the original photo, his head isn't that comically small, so I'm not really sure what he was going for here. I'm not sure who designed this particular flyer. Maybe he's trying to visually represent his brain size. I the way i'm getting off track here this fringe lunatic has allies in congress so even if individuals like marjorie taylor green might not vocally support everything that he's espousing maybe she has an interest in not burning women who are suspected of being witches because she herself is a woman as barbaric as her political views are but perhaps she doesn't agree with everything but little by little his views are becoming mainstream. He even said, Tucker Carlson is saying what I'm saying with respect to the white supremacist great replacement theory. So how long until more of Nick Fuentes' views are represented by the mainstream GOP in the United States? How long until a member of Congress has the same exact view as Nick Fuentes, where they just vocalize their intent to take us as a country back to the Middle Ages? How long until a Fox News pundit is saying exactly what this now fringe right winger is saying? I mean, again, Tucker Carlson, the most popular news broadcaster in the United States, is espousing the Great Replacement Theory and said theory has already catalyzed mass shootings. Now, it's not that big of a stretch to think that Nick Fuentes' views might one day be represented in Congress. One, because he already has congressional allies, but two... The extent to which the Republican Party continues to shift to the right should alarm everyone. They by far pose the biggest threat to national stability and democracy. So, you know, 10 years ago, seeing someone like Marjorie Greene or a president like Donald Trump was inconceivable. But now they're kind of the norm. They represent the mainstream of the Republican Party. So how long until Nick Fuentes or someone like that is in Congress espousing these views to millions of people potentially saying i think that we should not allow women to be integrated into the workforce i think that we should not give them an education i think that we should allow child marriage or forced child marriage and forced birthing i think that we should burn women at the stake how long until this is a thing how long until your party starts advocating for child marriages or women to uh not be allowed to vote if you're a right-wing woman, if you vote Republican and you're a woman, these are things that you should consider. Because even if it's inconceivable right now, there are a lot of things that were inconceivable that ended up came, uh, coming to fruition. For example, the overturning of Roe v. Wade. An insurrection. So don't think that this is an impossibility. Don't think that this, someone like Nick Fuentes' views, could never be represented in Congress. Because I think that we're a lot closer to that than you think. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.